Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We have one lead, Shay. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. Sir Keeley's tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall, Shay. You have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. But Keeley's doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him. For us. Do much more than earn his trust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. Then Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but she'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only there was beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So, Liam, what can you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? English vessel. 
and she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's got a crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Which is size. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what the fuck. Four, Captain. Come on, man. The spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticostia is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master stationed nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. But he had as many of his assassins from the news. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. It's a shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. You'd better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. What do you be needing today, then? Some bit of business, that. Captain's at the helm! We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. 
Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? They're standing right in our way to Antipas. What say you? We sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. No for impact! Stations, now! be waiting for us. Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Ave Caesar. Salt air, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom? If you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it, the Templars stick to this continent like tar. They won't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdering bastards who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. There it is. Articusti. The chasseur should be there. 
And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Can't be far now, Captain. He's Dock the, the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. But were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks.
What's our next headed? Wherever this Lawrence Washington drops is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? Good. Hoist anchor. Why does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins, same as him. He's more experienced and he knows these waters better, Shay. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead, too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. That's just the thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I wonder how much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I... F We slept rough and scrounged for meat, but at least we decided where and when. Let out some sail! Catch hold! As we were fishing off Haysboro Light, shooting and holing and trolling all night in that windy old weather. Anchor away! Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan.
Lord, can't stop Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington has run it out of his. There she is. All right, man. Time to be Get quiet. Clues up. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados. And his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Some sort of cargo there, sir. Short and sail! Get off the squall! Loose made sails! Hold down and clue up. Bring Clues down. Catch some wood. Douse the gallant oh, and rise. Ha ha. They're no man. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Hades a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. We're bearing down on land, Captain! A blockade, Captain! This won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Full sails! Douse the royals and tops! Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye.
He slithered away back in his hole. Keep your brown fess on your shoulder while you march. It's the most reliable firearm ever created. It is your best. We have seasoned veterans among our ranks here. What's this? Rifle. You there! Stay! Where? You are. What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him.
I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. How marvelous. Those fireworks are truly impressive, I must say. Is such pomp really necessary? Surely we can spend our money on something better than fireworks. Oh, those loud noises give me a fright. Need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. You 
too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> But my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Damn it. I'd better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. Clear shot on it. We're not losing that fast. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not Spartan! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You find the object late. Cheer up, Shane. A rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. Healy said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power. What does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with that Wally about that. He believes the box could be activated to project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? 
You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. Don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Loose all and trim sharp to the wind.